Now we're going to go over conference and transfer. So conference is basically a function of a phone system to tie multiple calls together so that all the callers, all the parties to the conference call can hear each other. In the Northstar system, if you want to create a conference call, you basically have to get one call up, get another call up, and then you use feature three to tie them together. So let's take a look at how this works. Let's say we have a call on our HOLP1 line. I'm sorry. Oh shit. Holy fuck. MCI. Our system indicates you are calling from. Now I'm going to hit the hold button and that's going to place that line on hold, as you can see by the display. Now I'm going to open another line and make a different call. There's the dial tone. Motherfucker. In order to make a conference call in the Northstar system, you basically get two calls up side by side and then you use feature three to tie them together. Let's go ahead and set this up. On line one, let's dial MCI. And while that's going through, we're going to pick up line two and dial voice messaging. I'm going to hit Feature three. To Verizon, it's going to say voice. press held line. To enter your mailbox, press start. Another conference Otherwise, together. Please redial the number you are calling, starting with the area code. Wait for MCI to talk some more. To enter your mailbox, start. Well, that was the wrong thing to do. Who is not a valid mailbox number? To enter your mailbox, uh, press start. Uh, Otherwise, please redial the number. Let's uh, try this again using some internal extensions. So we have Montel calling us here, so let's pick up Montel. Alright, let's mute that. And <laughs> um, we're also going to call. Let's also pick up another intercom line. Dial 9 to get an outside line. Notice our line jumps to the whole 2 position. We're going to call MCI. And then right now we're going to hit feature 3. Thank you for calling MCI. And now we have Montel. Our system indicates you are calling from. Uh, we have Montel. As well as we have MCI on the HOPE 2. Now if Montel hangs up, you can see the display changes to just the HOPE 2. Let's put that on hold and dial another external call. And now we can push them together with feature 3. And they're together. Our system indicates you are calling from 732... We can hang up on both of them at once. Let's go ahead and join some internal calls together. Let's do a voice call out to this extension, which is Deshaun. And let's do another voice call out to this extension, which is Andre. Now let's go ahead and feature three of those two together. And now we have a conference call with Deshaun and Andre. And you can see that we have auto dial buttons for both of them, and you can see that they're both in use. They're both off hook. All right, let's hang up on that. The problem is, is that that was an internal call, so by hanging up on it, all we did was transfer them together. Now I have to go and hang up on them. One We're calling from three, three one now three. Together. Following four, two four, options. four. To enter two, the number you one, are calling one. about, if this press is the number you are calling if about. If you do not press have one. a telephone number if currently not, in service, please. Call. If calling to confirm, if calling your, to confirm your telephone number, your telephone press, number one. press one. For questions about right. The number we write back to you is the number our system indicates you call from. If you need to hear the number again, please hang up and redial. What? Are you serious? So if I go ahead and hang up, because they're both external lines, they'll both hang up. Uh, in, in unison 
if either of those was an internal call, I would have just transferred them together, or if they were both internal calls. Let's, uh, let's do another example here. I'll do feature five. And I'll do feature five here. Join them together. Hi. Our system indicates you are calling Thank you from for calling three, three, one, three, Our system four, indicates four, you are calling from four, four, two, two, one, one, three, one. If four, this is four, the number you four, are calling about, four, press two, one. one, one. If, yeah. if I can the pull them apart about, by doing one. feature pound three. The number you are calling the about. Three. That's a lie. So now if I want to take them apart, I can just hit the line three, button. One, four, so now we're talking to hope one. One, one. If this, one, one. If this hope is the two. number you are calling not please if not please to enter the enter the number if you do not have do not have a telephone number currently in service put them back together establish press a new three. telephone number press 3 if calling to confirm, confirm to confirm. telephone how about that you dialed is no, no longer in all right goodbye now real quick we're going to take a look at the 7100 series, in other words, the ones that don't have line buttons, because these can also conference even though they don't have line buttons. And you might say, well, how do you conference them together if you can't hit the line button? And how do you unconference them once they're conferenced together if you can't hit a line button? So let's go ahead and make some calls. I'm going to hit 9 to get an outside line. We're on the hope 2. I'm going to get MCI again. And then I'm going to hit hold, hit 9. Now we're on hope 1. I'm going to get another line. And now I'm going to hit feature three, four, four, and they're together. Four, two, Thank one, you for calling MCI. This is the number you are calling. Oh, now I'm going to take them apart by doing three, feature pound three. Four, two, one, and now we're back on hope one, hope two's about. on hold. Press I'm going to hang up, pull that one up, hang up, boom. The pound three only works on the 7100 series. If you try to do it on the multi-line display phones or the single line display phones that have line buttons like the 7200, it'll just tell you that it's an invalid code. Pound three. The number you are calling up. If you want to get jiggy with it, we're going to dial some fucking North Star codes and fuck your mom. Jesus Christ, where's my goddamn shit? Ha <laughs> ha. Now you might be saying, well, how many people can you get together in a conference? If we're talking about a classic North Star system, what you just saw is all you can do. You can get one other party together. The phone display will say the two... Basically, the set names or the line names. Ah, cancel it. Cancel this take. You can get two other parties other than yourself in a conference. And basically all it is is two buttons bridged together, two buttons active at once. The display just shows the two names of uh, who you're talking to side by side, and that's it. If you try to get another person on there, it'll actually, let's, well, I can't show you. Because I do have a BCM, and I can get more. And then something interesting happen, happens, because if I have two other parties on conference like you just saw, we use classic North Star conferencing. It will show me the two names of the parties that are in conference. But if I have three or more other parties, on the, uh, basically if I have a four-way or more call, it basically jumps into a new type of code, new type of feature code, and uh, some interesting things happen. That's a little bit different, so let's, let's explore what happens when we add some more parties. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a voice call out to some extensions in the other room. So we're going to do out to there. I'm going to put that on hold. I'm going to do another voice call. Out to probably there. I'm going to put that on hold. And then on another phone, I'm going to dial a hunt group, which is going to come in on a different line over here, and I'm going to pick it up over here. And I'm going to put that on hold. So you can see we now have three lines on hold that we can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and hit mute here. I'm going to mute this phone. I can't mute it because I'm not on a fucking thing. Um... And now, basically, let's start with Hope 1. I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, no, let's do an in inbound call so that I can leave it up as long as necessary. I'm going to go ahead and dial in to the system from my cell phone. And what you'll see here... So I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Feature 3. And I'm going to say, okay, let's add this one here. I'm going to go ahead and mute this, mute that. Mute my phone here. Where is it? There we go. And now you can see that we have Montel and Hope 1 together. And over here on Montel, you can see that we have Matilda and Hope 1 together. And if Hope 1 was another set, you'd see that we had Matilda and Montel together, but it's not, it's a line, and it can't see what it's talking to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some more. I'm going to go ahead and feature 3 again, which, by the way, is the same as using this new call. Oh, that's interesting. So, so I'm going to go ahead and hit feature 3 again, and it's going to say press held line again. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit one of these intercom keys down here. And now you can see it says four calls. And then now it changes to in conference, and I have a button that says info. And if I hit info, it's the same as hitting feature 811. It shows me four calls. 
I don't really know the point of that because there's no other information. I can't cycle through and see who the four callers are. Um, I can put the conference on hold. Oh, that's Andre, Andre sorry. I can put the conference on hold. Um, but other than that, it just shows me in conference. Again, I can hit feature 811, four calls, not much interesting going on. Let's hit feature three. I'm sorry, feature three, and let's add in this line. And now we have five calls. Um, the interesting thing to note is that... Jesus Christ. The... The interesting thing to note here is that if you look at the buttons, the calls that I had outside of the conference are now free. The Bowie line is now free again, and I now have another intercom button free down here. So I can actually just keep making more calls. So let's go ahead and make some more calls. Let's pick up my intercom line, and let's voice call over to 307. Oh, no, we can't do that. Let's do 305, and let's conference that in. Darnell can go into the conference, and now we have six calls, and I still have a free intercom key. Let's grab uh, line two. And we don't even really need to call anyone. Let's just conference it right into the conference. There we go. Now we can dial a number while it's on top of everyone. Oh, wait, I guess we can't. Oh, shit. Whoa. Let's put that on hold. Now everyone can hear it. Everyone put the conference on hold. We're going to go around and hit the hold button on all the conferences. Notice that, oh, shit, this is not helpful. As you can see, this quickly escalates into a gigantic issue. Over here, where the conference is still on hold, you can see that it's just flashing down there. We can go ahead and hit feature 811. It'll say select the call. We push that, and it'll say four calls, because that's basically the fucking name of that. Over here on our single line display, it basically is just flashing conference on hold. And we can come off of it in conference, and we're back on conference on hold. Let's try to do things with the conference. Once we're in the conference, we can't transfer. We can make more calls to add into the conference. Can't do that. That's interesting. Put, now we have five calls in the conference again. Feature 811 still not doing anything more than showing me five calls. And I'm just not really sure what, what, what we're going to do about that. So, the only thing really that you can do once you have a conference is hang up. If I hit feature pound three, it's an invalid code. And I can't press the line button to break the conference apart because it's all on one line button now. Even if I want to use the line buttons that correspond to the actual physical lines, it's as if they're in use by the conference. My only alternative is to just hang up on the conference and hope that everyone else hangs up and the conference dismembers itself. You can see once the last party left the conference, the lines fell down. Now there's one more interesting aspect of the new conferencing in the BCM. Alright, so let's look at the phone in this particular situation. We have two external lines flashing, we have an intercom line on hold, we have one free intercom line. Let's basically pick up the conference. The conference zero. here is on hold. Seven, zero, zero, zero. And you can see that there's a soft button called New Call. And this soft button, this, you can see that there's a soft button called New Call whenever we're in conference. New Call basically is the same thing as pressing feature 807. It basically brings up the words Call Next Party. And you'll notice that we're now on the intercom line. And it's basically putting the conference on hold and saying, hey, call the next party. So, let's call the next party. Sorry. Alright, so let's put that one on hold. Except now, we have no intercom lines free, and let's go ahead and pick up the conference again, and hit new call. Holy shit, we have another dial tone, but wait, wait, what the fuck? We're not on any button. We have no button. How is this possible? We're not on any intercom key, yet we have a dial tone, an intercom dial tone. In fact, I can call people right now. You know, I can, here, I'll call the fax machine. I don't want the fax machine, but let's pick that up and hit new call again. Where the hell am I? And what happens if I get, if I get off of this call? Well, as it turns out, let's go ahead and, and... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Well, as you can see... As you can see, I'm on the phone with Deshaun, and I'm not actually on any buttons. This isn't a line, that's someone's auto-dial. So, the interesting thing here is that I really can't do anything. I can't put Deshaun on hold, it says release calls. I can't do any feature codes, even if I want to... Well, I can I can conference Deshaun in with the existing conference, but other than that, I can't transfer him. I don't even have a, a button to do that. I can't really do anything. I can't, I can't dial a new voice call. I can't dial a new ringing call. So what do I do? 
Well, I guess I gotta release Deshaun. Either admit him into the conference or hang up on him. Let's admit him into the conference. Now there's four calls. I'm gonna put that on hold. And you'll notice that I have no way to get back into the conference. I'm really not sure what just happened there. I put the conference on hold, and I wound up jumped off of it. I can't get back into it. It's in use. I guess someone would have to invite me back in. Oh well. Let's have a little bit more fun with the conferencing feature, because it's my opinion that there's a couple bugs in it. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of calls to a bunch of places. So the first thing is I'm going to make a voice call to the other room on that intercom line, a voice call to a different room on that intercom line. Then I'm going to pick up first line, dial a number, second line, dial a number, and conference those two together. Thank you for calling MCI. Our system is Thank you for calling MCI. And press the new call button. Notice that I have no new intercom lines, yet when I press the new call button, I get a new intercom dial tone, and I'm not actually on any button. And this is very interesting because I can make a call. Let's call the phone over here. And I can talk to someone, but I can't do anything. I can't put them on hold. It says release calls. I have no buttons for this call to go onto, and there's really no features I can do. I can't even transfer this call away. Now, one thing that I can do is I can transfer the call that I'm now on, the intercom call, into the conference by pressing feature three. In fact, let's do it to a different intercom. Let's do it to a different conference. Let's, let's transfer it to one of the intercom keys that I have here. And now I'm in a different conference call than the one I have on hold. Now I'm in a conference call with Andre and Montel. And I'm going to go ahead and tear this conference call down because it's not helpful anymore. But what I just showed you is that you can conference someone that you have that's not on a button. Basically, let's go back into this conference and hit new call again. We have a new intercom dial tone. We're not on any button. We're just floating in the air. It's a very bizarre state. And I'm going to dial something different. I'm going to dial another number. I'm going to dial basically a dial a Montel again. Montel answers, but this time, we're going to conference him into this first conference over here with these two external lines. No longer in use. Now, we, now we're on a conference, and I'm going to hit hold. Service. Now I want you to see what just happened. I put the conference on hold, but the lines for the conference are no longer flashing like they were originally. And if I press them, they're in use. I can't get back into the conference. It's not either of these. These are other calls. This is my call with Deshaun that I'm just going to hang up, and this is my call with Andre that I'm going to hang up. But I'm in a conference that I have on hold. Look, my light's flashing. And in fact, I have no way to get in this conference. In fact, every other person is now going to hang up on that conference. And the conference, the two lines are staying up by themselves, connected to seemingly no one. Seemingly me, but I can't get this call. No matter what I do, from any phone, the lines are in use. And even though they're in a conference, I cannot break into it. It somehow is tied to some virtual line on this phone that we can't access. And nothing that I can think of picks this call up in any way. Now one thing that I'm curious of is what happens if I disconnect this phone. Do those lines then release? Because technically there will be no one else in the conference if this phone doesn't have the conference on hold anymore. I'm just curious. With my luck, it probably will not release. Which means I have to go and manually intervene. One interesting thing of the North Star system is it's very easy to get external lines stuck together in a way where you can't clear it if they don't hang up. This is one such case. MCI, at least over the trunk I'm dialing it, does not hang up. And it's, it's, it, it's tied up. It's tied up. Look, hang on. Now, let's connect this phone again. And when it initializes, I'm curious if that knocks it off. Because at that point, it certainly doesn't have the conference on hold anymore. Well, actually, maybe it does. I don't know. We'll see if it's still flashing when it comes back. This is a completely an experiment. Oh, shit, it is. It's still in use. We're literally going to have to pull the lines out of the fucking phone system to get them to hang up. Great. Alright, so one last thing I want to mention is that the new call button is basically the same as pressing feature 807, which is the ringing call feature. What ringing call does is it creates a new ringing call, a call that will ring when you dial it, very similar to how feature 66 creates a voice call, a call that opens up on the speaker when you dial it. They both go to a dial tone, and they can both be used in certain circumstances. For example, when you're already on a different line, they both will pick the most available intercom line. The difference comes when the intercom lines are both in use. So let's go ahead and put that on hold. Put that on hold. We have no further intercom lines available. Yet, if I hit feature 807, I get a dial tone without any other button lighting up. 
This is an auto dial, it's not the line. In fact, it is hung up. Notice how if I press feature 66, no button free, we can't do a voice call. But I can do feature 807, get a ringing call out of thin air, and then do feature 66 to change it into a voice call. And again, we're on no button. So let's go ahead and voice call 305. Mute that, I'll just throw it on hold. Oh shit, I can't put it on hold. It's gonna put me on hold is what's gonna happen. Darn now. But anyway, um, what's happening here is that I'm on a call that I can't get rid of because it's in midair. Very similar to when we had the conference, but you can recreate this any time that you have no free intercom buttons and you create another ringing call. So, what can we do? Well, we can add it into a conference. Just be sure not to put it in a conference with external lines, because then we'll get stuck. And now we have a conference call, and we can add the other one in there too. And now we have a nice big hoopla bullshit. And what the fuck is going on here? This is interesting. It's stuck on press held line. I can't, literally cannot press anything. The phone is locked. The phone is locked. The phone is locked, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what I just did, but the phone is literally dead. Let's see if we can resolve this by hanging up the conference on other phones. Holy shit, I think the entire phone system is locked. This phone cannot do anything either. In fact, pressing the buttons just... Well, over here it does nothing. Literally, the entire phone system is locked up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ridiculous. This is literally ridiculous. Please stand by while I try to figure out how this happened and what to do about it. I have never seen this before. You have to see this. This is the software that you used to program the system, and I tried connecting to the system in the state. Error. Error happened. Error detail. General error. Okay. Okay to all. Or do I want to copy this? I think I might want to copy that. All right. All right, I just heard the did it sound. All of the phones seem to be back to normal, and this phone, which is what's called the control set, has an alarm on it, which is very interesting. It means that there's an alarm has been generated, and I can go into the system and see what it is. Okay, so it all starts here at 34 minutes after midnight, where the thump channel not ready, the MPS service aborted, and the resolution is to contact your local support group. The next error is lost connectivity to the switch. Which, I'm not really sure why I need to wait for this to load. I was looking at the log. This is great. Then we have shutting down. The MGS is shutting down due to MPS communication failure, also which we should contact our local support group. The media path management, I guess that's the NPM, subsystem unexpectedly became offline, <laughs> terminating. It unexpectedly became offline. And then here we go. Core telephony has stopped unexpectedly. Service managers attempting to restart the service. This is hilarious. And then all the services stop and start up again. Very interesting. Voicemail went down for a brief period. It's very hilarious. Very interesting. And the 52002 alarm we see here actually corresponds to the only critical event we had, which was uh, the MPS service aborting, which I guess is not something that you normally want to happen, so we're just going to hit clear on that. Okay, at this point I have two calls on hold on intercom keys, and I'm on another ringing call that is not on any button. And I believe what I was going to do is hit feature 3. It says press held line. I create a conference call. I'm going to hit feature 3 again. Press held line. That is now together. I'm going to do another feature 807. Grab another ringing call. Make it a voice call. I'm going to do that. No, I'm not. Hold on. This is a bad idea. And one last thing to note about ringing call is that it can be used on a 71 series, 7100 series phone to make a hands-free call because there are no other buttons to put it on speakerphone. Just remember that there's no microphone. So I cannot hear anything. Oh, shit. If you have a conference call with two other parties, in other words, a classic conference call, you can simply press one party or the other to consult individually feature three to put them back together. If you were to press feature 70 which is transfer those two would be joined together and hung up on basically the same thing that would happen if you pressed release 